Hello everyone and welcome to my Rev the Lich King Profession Picking Guide. In this guide I will be talking about all the professions and the benefit of these. I will also explain what professions I prefer to use and even what profession I recommend you to choose for the different classes and roles. The first profession I will cover is blacksmithing. Blacksmithers will be able to craft their own rare and epic items just like they could in Burning Crusade. But in this expansion, they will now also be able to add an additional socket to their braces and gloves. So by leveling blacksmithing, you will therefore be able to get two additional gems compared to someone who has not leveled this profession. The next profession is engineering. And I usually stick to this profession no matter what class I play. Simply because engineering provides so many useful things, for example for PvP, but also PvE. Engineering will also see a huge change. You will now be able to enchant your own items, for example the glove enchant where you will shoot a rocket that deals damage, or you can choose to get 885 armor on your gloves or a use effect that increase your haste rating. You will even be able to get a new cloak enchant, this either increase your agility or spell power, and this will also give you a use effect on the cloak where you enable a parachute. But in my opinion the coolest thing is for sure that we will be able to enchant our boots with nitro boots. I usually combine my nitro boots together with my parachute. This allows me to travel fast from one zone to another. As an engineer, you will also be able to craft a mailbox and even be able to use the auction house in Dalaran City. If you're not an engineer, then you will not be able to use the auction house in Dalaran. Beside all of these things, well then you will also be able to make three different trinkets. The sonic booster, a decent tank and trinket with a lot of stamina and a chance to proc attack power. Noise machine, that increase your spell power and has a chance to proc and absorb shield. Both of these trinkets are not unique and therefore you will be able to equip two of them at the same time to either boost your stamina or spell power. The Gnomis Lightning Generator has a chance to backfire, but it's a fun trinket to use also because after a short moment you will also be able to use your glove enchant, so a decent way to do range damage, especially useful if you play a melee character. All of these things are the reason why I always choose engineering. And you can also make gold with this profession. You can use the mode extractor from Burning Crusade in Wrath of the Lich King to continue making gold, because there will be new clouds you will be able to extract in this expansion. As a dual crafter, you will be able to pick up a daily quest in Dalaran City, rewarding you with the Dalaran dual crafting token. This is a currency you use in order to purchase new designs, for example new epic items you will be able to craft, or maybe even new gems. But the main reason why you level up this profession is to be able to craft the epic gems only usable by the dual crafter. These epic gems are pretty much twice as good compared to the rare gems that you will be able to get in the first couple of phases. A dual crafter will be able to equip three of these at a time and there will be pretty much a gem for every single stat in the game, no matter if you're looking for parry, armor penetration and other stuff. On top of that, then you're also able to make some level 75 trinkets. Even at level 80, I like to use these, especially the one for tanking, as they increase my stamina by a lot. I usually choose dual crafting as my second profession, at least for the first couple of phases when the epic gems are so powerful. The next profession is tailoring. And in this expansion, you will now get a passive, increasing your chance to get cloth when you're killing humanoids in Northrend. Of course, this is not the main reason to choose this profession. So in Burning Crusade, you could craft leg enchants that you could sell on the auction house. These leg enchants you also had to use on your own legs, and this could be quite expensive. But in Wrath of the Lich King, you will now be able to do the leg enchant on your own legs for pretty much 3 gold. Simply because there's going to be an enchant for your own legs that only require a thread, and this you can purchase from a winter. On top of that, you will also be able to enchant your cloak with a powerful enchant, either increasing your attack power spell power or restoring mana. So in this expansion, it will even be useful as a melee character or a hunter to pick tailoring because of the cloak enchant that increase your attack power. As an alchemist, it's quite useful to get mixology. This will increase the effect and duration of your elixirs and flask. Beside that, you will also be able to make different trinkets for level 75. Quite useful in the beginning, but also late on in case you're level 75 and you're leveling. An additional thing as an alchemist is that you will be able to craft a mana and healing potion, and these are not getting consumed when you use them. 
If you pay attention to the healing, but also the mana gained, then they're not that great, but still quite useful for when you're farming or questing. In addition to this, you're also able to make a flask that is not consumed when you use it. Flask of the North, either increasing your spell power, attack power or strength. This will work for one hour and you are able to use this in arenas. In Rep, the Lich King, enchanters will also receive new ring enchants, either increasing your attack power, spell power or stamina. And just like Burning Crusade, then you will be able to have two of these at a time. As an enchanter, you will also be able to keep your enchants for later use. Inscriptors will be able to make armor and weapon vellums. These vellums are useful for enchanters. You will be able to store an enchant on these. For example, in this case, I have the materials for berserkering and I have a weapon vellum. Now I can use this enchant on the vellum and I will make a scroll with the enchant. This I will then be able to sell on the auction house or store for later use. Now that I've already mentioned inscription, then let's continue with that profession. The benefit of this is that you will be able to make different shoulder enchants, and these are way better than anything else you will be able to get in Wrath of the Lich King. But overall this profession is mainly for gold making. Else it's not that great, yeah the shoulder enchants are a bit better, but compared to the other professions and the benefits of those, then I would not choose inscription if you like to min max. The last major profession to highlight is leatherworking. You will be able to get resistance on your braces, for example frost, fire, arcane, shadow and nature resistance. But the main reason why we level this profession is not to get the resistance boost. It's mainly to get spell power or stamina on our braces. Just like tailoring, then you will also be able to enchant your own legs for pretty much free. The materials are so cheap compared to the other epic enchants you will be able to craft and sell on the auction house. When you're leveling your main profession, then you might also have a gather profession in order to gather the materials. In Wrath of the Lich King, gather professions will now also grant you a permanent buff. Skinning will for example increase your critical strike rating, herbalism will give you a spell you can use to restore health over time, and mining is toughness that increase your stamina. So now you might also be wondering, what is the best profession for your class? In my opinion, it's always mandatory to have engineering, but this is of course just my opinion. I just feel like engineering will benefit me in PvP and PvE. For example, I'll be able to get the glove enchant that increase my armor, this is useful for a tank, but also haste and this is useful for a lot of other classes, for example shaman. On top of that, I'll also be able to get the glove enchant where I'll be able to shoot a rocket useful in PvP situations. Another thing we also have to remember is the rocket boots, allowing me to sprint away, for example if I pull aggro or if I play a tank and I need to gather a mob real quick before it wipes the raid group. The second profession I choose for most classes will be dual crafting. The main reason for this is because I will be able to get the right stat. So for example if I would like to get a lot of haste, then I will be able to get this from the gems. However, if you don't like engineering and the benefits of this, but also you don't plan to PvP, then you could always swap this profession as a tank into something like leatherworking for the brace enchant for more stamina or blacksmithing for more gems. As a healer or caster, you could always swap this into enchanting for the ring enchant or maybe tailoring for the cloak enchant. But yeah, that's also about it for this profession picking video. In case there's a profession that you prefer to use as your class, then let me know this in a comment below this video. But yeah, as always, thank you for watching and have an amazing day. Peace.